guys. So, today, as you can tell by the title of this video, I am going to be showing you how I personally stay organized during the school year. Yeah. Item. A planner. Sorry that it's shiny. I have a soft box soft box on top of me. Um this is a 2018-2019 planner. And as you can see, it is divided by months. Let me lower this so it, it's easier for you. So you see it goes all the way from July to June. So it's an entire year. And you get a monthly spread and daily. Well, it's a week and then you got your days. Stuff like that. This just helps me stay organized because here I can write, for example, uh, today's Tuesday, September 4th. So this tells me that tomorrow I get out at 2 and that I have an exam on Thursday. So that helps me get ready to study and do stuff like that. And you can also plan ahead. And this one tells you different like special dates. So I find that very useful. So overall, I think having a planner is really good. A lot of my teachers write announcements on the side of their boards, but they won't tell you to write them. So you basically have to do it yourself and that's good because it like builds like habits to check and to do your own not not really your own schedule but keep track of your own things so that's a reason that I really really like a planner the next one is a tip to help you study and for that I am bringing in my science notebook and I, I will be showing you something that I do a lot, but I didn't do it today specifically so that I could do it on camera. Number one is to kind of write pretty. I don't, I can't do that. It's like impossible for me. You see that it's in Spanish because we take Spanish classes, but this is the theme. And basically it is the scientific method. I think that's how you say it in English. And then hypothesis, and then it tells you basically all the things that a hypothesis needs to be. And so for something that I do personally, let me show you a page where I've done it. Like this, for example, I have two colors, a main color and a sub color. And then everything like that's important is this color. And this color is the sections. And basically it just helps you make the, the, the notebook really pretty. And yeah, um, I adopted this from last year. Let me get last year's notebook really quick. This is last year's science notebook. And this is definitely the notebook I am the most proud of because from the first day onward, I think every single page has, let me like tilt you this way. I'm gonna zoom you out a little bit. I don't care if you see this stuff, but I don't know if you can tell, like, almost every single page has color in it. And I, if I'm not mistaken, I passed this class with 100%. So I'm just, I'm just gonna keep flipping. I'll probably speed this up. This is the last thing we copied. And it was January, February, March, April, May 15th. And every single page up until here has some degree of color. And then I'm gonna show you back to the first page. This was my ideal because I have a definition and then the question and to make sure that it sticks in your head, usually I adopted the thing of two colors, but before I used to use multiple colors. So basically it was like, oh, that one orange question at the beginning of the page. So then it tells you, oh, this is the unit and this is uh, the, the lesson that we will be learning today. And then I'm like, oh, okay. So I remember this, like, um, I guess a diagram that I made up with these colors and then, there's no other diagram with those colors 
this day. So, oh, this diagram with those colors. Okay, bam. And then if I wanted to make it so that it's all tied together, these ones are also blue and yellow, but they also have to do with this one. So, stuff like that. So the way I do it is I take my notebook and this is, let me like brighten it up again. This is my pencil pouch and it's weird. It's a coil one. But in here I just have a crap ton of pens and highlighters. So I usually take two colors, turquoise and orange. So now, I take my notebook, ignore the towel because I don't want to ruin the notebook, obviously. I take an eraser. Usually the darkest color I pick to be the, the main color. So, that's just the theme and then it'll make, it'll appear darker by comparison. And just do that the, all the way down. I'm gonna speed this part up for you guys, but you'll you'll see what I'm talking about. So basically, this is like what I do. And that just makes it so that I wanna look at it more and that's what happened with my science notebook last year. I was so proud of it that I just wanted to keep looking at it and reading it and reading it and eventually the things just stuck in my head. Uh, which I guess is very good because that helped me pass the class. The next item I have are index cards and post-it notes. These are like tiny ones, but index cards are also extremely helpful because they can help you basically cram in what you don't remember. So for example, what I usually do is I'll take this and I'm gonna do an easy one in Spanish. Okay, this is what I remember from the top of my head. Um, I don't know if it's correct or not, but whatever. So you have the name, and the definition. Pretty easy. And that just allows you to read and have other another person read it to you. So if the person sees, you see this and the other person sees this and that way it's easier. So kind of like flashcards. Sticky notes can be used in a similar way but to also can be used to tab your notebooks. In my case, I got these little um, arrow things from when my mom went to like Florida and I could just write something down and paste it and it'll tell me where to look. Another thing is if you don't have money for pens or highlighters, you can get colored pencils. This is a giant pack, so ignore that, but you can get like 12 packs for like 90 to 80, 80 to 90 cents. And that's really good. Is there, I'm trying to think, is there anything else that, that I use? I don't think so. So, I'm just gonna close it off with, so you have something to look at. Um, yeah, if you found any of these tips helpful, tell me in the comments down below. Also in the comments, tell me what you want to see because currently I have this notebook of different video ideas. I won't let you see them all because I want them to be a surprise but I have two papers filled with ideas and I want to see if you guys want to see anything in, in particular because uh, some of you, well some of you at school told me that you like wanted to see a video of how I study. And so th this is the video 
Um, if there's any thing in specific that you want, like studying for a specific class, let me know and I'll make that video for you. So, thank you guys so very much for watching. Remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Click that bell icon so you're notified every time I post a video. Tell me in the comments down below what did you think of the video. And remember that I love you all so, so much and I'll see you guys on Friday. Bye!